Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the bench. Uh, today I want to show you the towel 5 inch from iFlight RC. This is a 212 millimeter frame with 5 millimeter arms, a 2 millimeter top plate and side arms, and a 3 millimeter bottom plate. It's pretty beastly. All the pieces interlock together to make it an easy, easy, easy build. The bottom plate accommodates a normal size flight controller and a 20 by 20 for those of you who have the smaller flight controllers. Inside here I have the Knox 2.71 F4 flight controller with the floating gyro. Also sold from iFlight RC. You can find it in the description and on their website. It's a 35 amp 4 in 1 ESC combined with an Omnibus F4 flight controller with barometer. Um, it has a removable or an interchangeable gyro. So if you've ever crashed one of these and or crashed a board and lost your gyro and you don't want to spend 50 bucks, you can basically replace it for about 10. They sell the gyros themselves uh, separately on iFlight's website as well. So there's always replacements to be had. These arms are five millimeters thick and five inches long. Uh, the props are five inch props, but iFlight also makes a five and a half, a six and a seven inch model of this frame. Uh, for those of you that want to run big props. I tend to warn you though, the further out you go with the motor, the more torque it'll be on this skinny arm. So you might want to keep that in consideration when you're thinking about building a seven inch frame. This frame, I believe, was built around the stylings of the nano FPV cameras, the mini ones. Um, I would never be able to fit, you know, a larger Fox here or a uh, run cam in there. Uh, maybe a run cam nano or Swift or something like that, one of their smaller ones. Antenna, again, is one of the stubbies from the DG. I have the link in the description. Um, what else can I tell you about this quad? Oh! Hooking it up, that's pretty important, no? When you first hook up this flight controller to the computer, it will show you that forward is forward and back is back, and the ESCs will be lined up to the outside of your quad. Uh, I don't know how to tell you that, but that's wrong. Uh, what you're seeing is deceiving. Uh, best way to have this lined up is just the way I have it. Uh power wires off the side it allows you to have your USB off the other side um, otherwise the power wire was coming off the tail of the quad and the USB was off the nose so I have to stick and you can fit it but you have to stick your USB under the camera to get it under there to link up to your computer so I decided to turn it 90 degrees I did the transition on the configuration page on beta flight and it flies like a dream I'm running a 8k 8k bit loop time with D shot 1200 uh, it was pre flashed by iFlight to have a soft serial so that your current sensor and, and voltage monitoring is all taken care of uh, via the board itself so there's no extra programming on that tip uh, wiring this thing together was a breeze super simple here's all my wires in the quad positive and negative to the VTX video in video out green wire is the S audio to the VTX and on this side those three wires there is my signal ground and 5 volt positive going to my RSXR Tyrannus receiver with the pigtails coming off the arms Super easy build, really rigid, really light. Without the motors and props, with all the electronics, I think it came out to 100 grams, 103 grams total. So add another 125 for the motors and props, and you're looking at a craft of around 300 grams all built. Included in this video, I'm gonna have some flight video, so sit back and relax and i'm sorry that it's a dvr but you tell me if you see any prop wash any comments any questions please leave them in the comments below 
and if you feel like it hit that like button or subscribe and you'll see more videos like this in the future thanks for watching